friends, I'm sorry this video is late. I could tell you that it's just an April Fool's joke and that's why I didn't post a video on Friday. But really, there was kind of a series of events that prevented me from having my video up on time. Nothing's wrong or anything. I was just super busy and I had a camera fail and some Katie fail and I had a huge paper to write. So after all my fails happened, I decided to go ahead and finish that paper and then do my video. So right now it's Saturday night, which is why I'm wearing kind of dramatic makeup. So it's April, which is exciting because that means that it's almost May. And May is the end of school and I get to go home for the summer and my birthday's in May. So that's all exciting. However, I'm not very excited that it's April because April is the last full month of school, which means I have about 100 assignments due. Not actually, I'm exaggerating that. But I have a ton of stuff to do, a lot of big projects that I have like for all semester or due at the end of the month. And so I'm going to be crazy busy all month. I know that some of my subscribers are also college students and I know that you guys are probably in the same boat as I am. So good luck to you guys. March was a pretty good month, mostly because I got to go home for a week during spring break, and I had a really awesome spring break. As I've talked about before, I saw Lady Gaga in concert with my friend, I got to see my parents and my boyfriend, and I got to go shopping. I have a spring break haul video that I was excited about because I loved all the stuff I got, so if you haven't checked out my spring break haul, I'll link it down below. So let's go ahead and talk about my March fave. So bad things about March were that my Chi Flatiron broke, and so I'm really sad about that. I'm using a different one now. And also I ran out of my Makeup Forever HD foundation and I decided to use that opportunity to try a new foundation and I'm really happy with it. It is the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation and my color is Siberia. This foundation is sheer and lightweight and it is mattifying which is kind of what I wanted because I wanted a lighter foundation for summer. Also you know that I like my skin to have a matte finish and with a normal foundation by the end of the day I'm looking pretty oily and greasy and shiny but with this I'm only shiny like on my nose and on my chin. So I'm pretty happy with that and I like it so far. If you recall my spring break haul, the Sephora lady was really reluctant to sell me this foundation and I'm happy to tell you that this has not hurt my skin at all. It has not accentuated the dryness or anything and so this I've had no problems with using this with my dry skin. My favorite lip combo this month is actually Drugstore which is unusual because you guys know sometimes the drugstore lip products aren't really my thing. I'm not a big fan of those. But these two I am a big fan of. The lipstick is Revlon Color Burst in Soft Nude, and that's kind of the color. It looks like this. It's just a soft nude color, obviously. There's the swatch. It's a warm nude color, and it just kind of mutes out my lip color. And so when I put a lip gloss on, it gives kind of an interesting effect that I really like. It makes kind of a lighter lip, which I'm liking for spring. Also, I want to mention that I've already talked about this in a favorites video back in August. The lip gloss that I've been pairing with that is... Revlon's Lilac Lip Gloss. I think this is a super lustrous lip gloss or something like that, but this was featured in my September favorites. So neither one of these are new, but I've really been loving that combo for spring. So on the top is Soft Nude, and then in the middle is the Lilac Lip Gloss, and in the bottom is the Lilac Lip Gloss layered over the Soft Nude Lipstick. This lip gloss, even though it looks purple, it's not super pigmented. It just kind of makes the lipstick more cool toned. So it's really fun to layer with different lipsticks and kind of give them a little bit of a different look and a little bit of a cooler, lighter, springtime look. I've also really been loving my new MAC lipstick, which I got over spring break at the Cosmetic Company store. And it is MAC's Way to Love lipstick. There's the swatch right there. This was limited edition a couple years ago, but I did just buy it in my Cosmetic Company store. So if you have a CCR or whatever near you, then you might want to check for this. It's a really nice peachy pink. It's a lot like my lip color. I'm actually wearing it today so I'll get a little bit closer to the camera. You can kind of see my dark eyes here too. But see, it's just a really natural lip color, which I think looks really nice for spring. It also looks really nice with a more dramatic eye. You can do just kind of a really natural looking lip. Those are actually my only makeup products I'm going to talk about today. I've been using kind of the same blushes that I've been talking about and eyeshadows have been kind of stuck in a rut. It's been pretty much all neutral shades and greens and purples. And there's nothing that I was wearing like almost every day or really really loving this month. So that's why I didn't want to include any of those because I was using a lot of items and enjoying them, but there weren't any that really stuck out as like monthly faves. A lot of you saw my Sensational Soaps haul. I'm really loving everything I got from there, still using all of the soaps and loving them very much. But my favorite product that I got was the Body Butter in Sweet Vanilla. It smells really great. It's like Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar, so it's a really pleasant smell. This lotion is super moisturizing and really nice like you would expect from a body butter, but it doesn't feel heavy on your skin. You can tell how much I've loved this in March because as of April, 
it is pretty much gone. I'm still like scraping out the very last bits to use on my hands and stuff because I just love this. Speaking of scents, I want to talk about my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works, which if you know me, you know that it is white citrus. White citrus is a clean citrus scent. It's really nice because I love clean scents and citrus scents, which is why this one's my favorite Bath and Body Works scent, I guess. But because it's such a fresh scent, it's kind of like a spring summer fragrance and I try not to use it so much in the winter. So I've been busting this out again in March since it's spring and kind of reminded of how much I love this. There are several nail polishes that I was loving in the month of March. At the very beginning of March I bought some of the China Glaze Crackle Glaze nail polishes and that is so hard for me to say. It's like a tongue twister. I have Black Mesh Lightning Bolt which is the white color and Broken Hearted which is a pink. Today I'm wearing Lightning Bolt the white color over China Glaze for Audrey and this reminds me of something. I think maybe it's like pottery my mom has or something. I don't know. I feel like this combination is really good for spring. I've had great fun with these nail polishes this month. Trying them out, trying out different color combinations, layering them over different nail polishes and all that. My spring break haul was actually filmed on St. Patrick's Day. And so if you watch that video, I'm wearing like a green shirt and crazy green eyeshadow and green nail polish. And the green nail polish in that video is one of my favorites. I have a bunch of green nail polishes because you guys know I love greens. But that green nail polish was China Glaze Tree Hugger. It kind of looks like a muted light green, not like a lime green, more like a sour apple or something like that, that kind of green. In the bottle it looks okay, but I really like the way it looks on my nails and with my skin tone. If you've watched my February favorites video, and I know a lot of you have, you noticed that I was really loving some purple in February, and for a lot of March I really was too. In March I was still rocking some purple, so I was rocking some purple nails. And what I particularly loved this month was OPI's Pandemonium Pink. I bought this polish because I love pandas and I love pink. However, this is a super, super cool toned pink. That's why to me I call it a light purple because that's what it looks like to me. So it really went with a lot of the light purples and cool toned pinks that I was wearing this month so I really enjoyed rocking this in March. This is another thing I got during spring break and it is the color Miss Bossy Pants by Sephora by OPI and it is in the Glee line. It is a fuchsia pink with a purple quality to it or like a purple shine iridescence to it. When I first put it on my nails I was like oh this is just fuchsia this isn't actually that exciting but then I kind of looked at my nails under different light and I noticed that you could really see the purple under different lights and so my nails kind of look different in different lights and depending on how you looked at them so I thought that was really neat. It's one of those polishes that looks really cool in the bottle and just as cool on your nails so really liked that. So those are my March faves. If you've used any of these products, let me know what you think of them and let me know what your favorite products in March were. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.